everyone, Kendall here again. So today I wanted to do a short video on a tool that um, if you're in a big organization, this should be very, very helpful to you guys. Um, talking to a bunch of my other IT-based uh, friends, they don't really know about this tool. Uh, a lot of people didn't even know it existed. A lot of people know about this company, though. Um, but they just did not know that there was such a tool for SSL based certificates. Um, this tool does do SSH uh, based certificates as well, but I'm just going to cover SSL because it's just very, very useful. So as you can tell here, this is a demo and uh, the application is called Key Manager Plus. It's made by Manage Engine, which is up here in the top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, this Key Manager Plus gives you just an awesome dashboard, probably one of the best dashboards I've ever come across on any SSL certificate management tool. Um, and a lot of you guys who are doing this in a big organization, you know that, hey, if you're going through, uh, let's just use Global Sign as an example, you get a tool that way, or um, any big name provider that you have out there, they give you some type of tool. Of them. But it's nothing to this degree of, uh, I guess, refinement would be the best way I could describe it. So the nice thing is it gives you how many certificates are gonna expire within, you know, the zero to 30 days, 30 to 60 days, and then it can give you obviously what's already expired and it gives you the counts on them. Well, that's nice in and of itself, but what it doesn't give you that you would think is, hey, can I just click on this and drill down on it? Well, yes, you can. You can click down on the 10, find which ones are expired, and it'll actually tell you all the information about the certificate, okay? So that's pretty sweet, right? Now, if that isn't sweet enough, you can drill down on CloudFront, which was the first certificate there as an example, and you can click on this button, you can actually export it and download that certificate to your computer. So how sweet is that? I mean, that's ridiculous, right? All right, you can go back to the home page, and uh, let's say next is zero to 30 days. What certificates are expiring in my organization? Oh, Facebook as an example, you know, these are all demo sites, it has one day left. All right, it gives you all the information about it, like the key size, who issued it, who you need to go through to renew it, right? Um, that type of information. And through this window, of course, if you wanted to know more about it, like, hey, I don't really know what this um, SSL certificate here is for cloud. Let's click on that. Huh, okay, here's all the information about it. It gives me, hey, I found it on port 443, it's valid from this date, and it goes to this date. Here's the alternative names that also um, the certificate uses, right? So there's a couple other uh, sites that the certificate does. And it's also a, um, gosh, I was going to say asterisk, but it's basically, a, you know, it's for this whole hdfcbank.com. Sorry, I can't think of the stupid word that you want to use there. But anyways, um, so you know that information. It's a SHA-1 using RSA right for the encryption for the key algorithm um, I mean there's just so much and again you can export it right out through this window um, come back to home here same thing for 30 to 60 days okay the other cool thing is is this gives you um, the how many certificates it actually finds in your organization so you can view your certificates it tells you like in orange here this is how many certificates I have and the key store which is a function basically where you can use the store keys um, within the application and that does eat up licenses and there is a way I guess I'm not necessarily going to say around that but there's a better use of the tool that I found to use and if uh, you guys want more information about that I can go into details on it um, and then it tells you obviously how much how many SSH keys you have and then here you can click view all and it'll view all the keys and licenses that you have in your environment um, over here obviously it gives you all the different certificates who they're issued by Right, and a nice graphical pie chart. I mean, this is great for management. Um, but also, as a like, a, if you have a monitoring team or a management team that manages all these certificates and they need to know when they're upcoming, I mean, this is just a great, great tool. Um, it also integrates with Active Directory. Um, let's see if this, yeah. So through their demo on their site, you can use your Active Directory. It works with multiple domains. I have tested this. I know at least six domains it works with and users can log on with. Um, that's the most amount of domains I've tested it with. Um, you can assign groups just like you would to any type of tool. It works really, really well. Um, it has a mail server setting. It can automatically mail 
uh, let's say zero to 30 days, you wanna know when that window of certificates are gonna expire, it can email you a generated list of all those certificates so every month you're on top of your certificates. Um, this may sound like I'm getting paid by them. I am not getting paid by them. I just find this an extremely helpful tool. And the crazy thing about this is this tool is dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, okay? I mean dirt cheap. For a thousand licenses on this certificate, you're gonna pay $2,000 as an annual contract. That is ridiculously cheap. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys who I work for, but um, we spend a lot more on tools that do a lot less. Let's just put it that way. This tool is amazing. And uh, especially for $2,000, right? Um, if you have your SSL certificates over here, the other cool thing about it is you can create your CSRs and you can create your CSRs and it stores all your passwords here. All right, so like this one's manage engine. They're, they might all be that. Nope, they're different. But um, it stores all your passwords here. So, okay, now you have your private key inside a, a store that's centrally managed, right? You can create your CSR and now you can send it off to whoever it needs to be signed by. And after you've gotten that signed, right, publicly, you basically can take that certificate and use it wherever you want on your devices. Um, which is super, super slick. But the nice thing about this is it keeps all this in one central location every single time you create a CSR, which is just amazing to me. You know, unless your business is 100% through, let's say, Global Sign as an example, um, it's a, a nightmare if you have internal certificate servers that you're using to issue certificates and you're creating CSRs that way. And you don't have a management tool. It's just a nightmare. And I know this firsthand. So um, this tool is just well worth the money, and a lot of you people out there in your organization probably aren't going to have a thousand certificates that you need to manage. Probably going to have somewhere around 200, right? And it's very reasonable. I think it starts off at like $100 for this tool if you have, you know, 100 or 200 certificates. And you can obviously get a quote up on the top here. Um, you can call them. You can go to their site, which is um, manageengine.com, and uh, they have tons and tons of different tools there but um, I really wanted to make people aware about this tool because it is fairly new on the market and it is a very good tool for what it does um, you could streamline your whole process if you wanted using a certificate request basically let's say you, this would be your ticket generation process let's say you have a team that's generating these requests you have another team that's managing those certificates. They could then come to the CSRs. They could create the CSRs. Once the CSRs are created, they then get them signed either internally or externally. And once they're done, they can come back to this request. Let's say this is ticket, right, um, for demo. They're all closed. So let's just add one, and we'll just call it um, testing, um, testing at testing.com number of days, let's say we want 740 days and it's for xyz.com, all right? Okay, so it's disabled for the demo, but I know firsthand because I have used this tool, you can, after it's, the, if you haven't closed the ticket yet and it's open, you can click on the ticket and then when you go to close the ticket, you can actually attach the certificate that you got from Global Sign or your internal certificate authority, whoever you got that, publicly signed by, you can attach that into this uh, certificate request area, which basically closes, changes the status to closed, and then it'll email that certificate internally without the passwords, right, to whoever needs that certificate. And then the nice thing is, is if they have Active Directory credentials, they can come here under certificates, or sorry, under uh, CSRs, and then they can view the passphrase for their certificate. So then it's all centrally, centrally managed, it's not emailed out anywhere, and it's just kept really, really safe. Um, I'm sorry I'm not trying to rant here, but I just wanted to touch all the topics on this just for SSL and what it does, because it is a very, very valid tool. And um, you can generate reports with it. There's so much more you can do with this tool. And um, I'll let you guys check it out. I appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something.